Jesus never existed. Yahweh is the inhale and exhale of the breath. When you breathe in, that's Yah. When you breathe out, that's way. That's why the Bible says God breathes life into the nostrils of man. God is the consciousness. The word Yahweh in Hebrew is the human body. Spirit in Latin is breath. The Holy Spirit is the holy breath, which activates the Kundalini, which is the resurrection. Jesus in Latin is you are us. Jesus in French is I am. Tithing is not giving the 10% of of your income to the church it means to give the 10% of your mind your ego into the subconscious mind the 90% you do this through profound meditation the church has literalized this so that they can make a business out of the Bible this is how you meet the Lord in the air and this is why Moses has to go on a mountain because it represents raising your consciousness to a higher level to reach the higher self which is the Lord okay so let's get one thing clear I eat a lot of mushrooms a lot of mushrooms and I don't even think of this shit. Where do people come up with this stuff? Where do these associations come from? What is happening? What the f What if I told you we actually live inside a black hole? Look, man. The Big Bang was, was the moment a massive star collapsed and formed a black hole, and our universe was created inside it. Black holes don't just crush everything into nothing, okay? According to some of the most advanced theories in physics, quantum gravity, and cosmic inflation, it's possible that the interior of a black hole becomes a new space-time region essentially a universe uh it, the intense gravitational collapse creates conditions so extreme that they could cause a new universe to bounce into existence hidden behind the event horizon inside a black hole space and time behave differently the the singularity um where gravity becomes infinite acts like a cosmic seed generating a a new universe with its own laws of physics completely isolated from the parent universe and our our universe like it's it's likely inside the the event horizon of a massive black hole formed by the collapse of a star in a, a, a in a larger parent universe. Um, the extreme density and warped space time we experience are the result of that black hole's gravity pulling us toward the singularity. This is why the universe is expanding. The fabric of space is being stretched as we move deeper into the the gravitational well of the black hole. Now, here's why life like us could only form in this scenario. The intense energy fluctuations and quantum effects inside black holes create a unique environment for matter to organize itself in ways that are otherwise impossible. The irrational potency of the physical properties within, like extreme time dilation and, and high energy density, allow for structures like galaxies, stars, and even us to form. Bayside Mall incident, this statement pertains to a highly sensitive matter involving an individual known as Fitz, who is currently in possession of footage classified at the highest federal levels. Due to the critical nature of this material, no further details will be disclosed at this time. We will not entertain any questions regarding the Bayside incident in Miami on January 1st, nor will we address any inquiries about the individual known as Fitz. Both the footage and the incident are part of an ongoing investigation under strict federal oversight. Be advised, any attempt to release or disseminate this footage by any journalist, media team, or individual will result in immediate and severe legal action, including arrest and prosecution. The release of this classified material will be considered a direct violation of federal law and will result in imprisonment. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. We strongly urge all media outlets to refrain from any attempt to publicize this footage or related information. Further updates will be provided only when deemed appropriate by federal authorities. I'm not familiar with what happened at the Bayside Mall with the Spitz guy. Can somebody in the comments let me know what's happening? Because I have no clue. When I clicked on this video, I assumed it had to do with the aliens in the mall in Miami. But I don't think that's the case. And if so, that's really, really weird that they don't want footage getting out. And so, we find ourselves at the edge of a mystery that refuses to die. The legend of Lemuria. Its sunken cities. Its lost people. Its enduring presence in the corners of our world where time seems to stand still. From the remote stones of Easter Island to the forgotten myths of ancient India, we're left asking, is Lemuria merely a story? Or is it something more? Something that points to a hidden past that the Earth has tried to bury? The ancients spoke of beings who descended from the heavens, powerful, godlike entities with knowledge that shaped early humanity. These beings, the Anunnaki, are whispered about in Sumerian texts, their influence reaching across continents, across oceans, and perhaps even across the very fabric of time itself. 
Were they the architects of these lost civilizations? The builders of the impossible, leaving behind fragments of their presence, scattered islands, strange monuments, and technologies we have yet to understand. We have to ask, are Lemuria, Atlantis, Mu, all just different names for the same forgotten empire? An empire that thrived when the Anunnaki walked among us, their hands shaping stone, their knowledge bending the laws of nature itself. I thought Lemuria and Atlantis went to war together. I thought they were like the two big superpowers on the Earth, like forever ago or whenever they existed. I'm pretty sure I read something about them going to war and basically destroying each other. I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't Lemuria. I have to let me know. Uh, dude, I watched so many of these videos, I get them mixed up a lot. So <laughs> let, me, let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if what I'm thinking is correct. The artifacts of old, the Antikythera mechanism, the sword of Gaojian, the dagger of Tutankhamun, the epic of Gilgamesh tablet, Gungnir, Odin's spear, these are history's revered artifacts, passed down through legend and saga. History has deemed their counterparts far more sinister. The bygone treasures. Amalgide's crested helm. Crown of the zealous hearted. Armlet of booning fortuity. Kulzang's accursed mace. I caution thee, traveler, for some history lies better lost, untouched, and undisturbed. Listen, what if I told you we're not from Earth? There are massive space stations in outer space, I'm talking 300,000 feet long and miles high, holding more humans than you can fathom. These humans inside of these space stations fled their planet as it became inhabitable. They drifted through outer space for millennia until they finally found this place, Earth. And that's how we got here. Thousands of years ago, they sent down a small colony of humans from these space stations down on Earth to feel it out, to begin the process of colonization. And the young ones didn't really know what was going on. Like, they just thought this was the regular world. You know, not realizing that they were actually sent from these space stations down to Earth as, as an experiment. Um, at first, an honest one. But as time went on, they realized how easily they could manipulate and control us and basically just extrapolate our labor for resources to enable them to embark on a never-ending journey through space in which they deploy human civilizations on every planet they encounter using samples of their own, um, like their own kin. They they fly through the heavens of space while we're, we're cast down to the grounds below. That would be so crazy if humans were the only species, the only biological life form that could space travel, right? And let's just say we have been doing this for thousands and thousands and thousands of years or millions of years even just traveling through space and colonizing multiple planets and we're just down here as, as slave labor it kind of lines up with the anunnaki as far as like the slave labor stuff but if they were actually human like we are the anunnaki and just dropping us down here to basically harvest resources and stuff for them it'd be nuts and it would definitely it would definitely kind of answer this whole like truman show esque world that we <laughs> seem to be a part of right oh that's a terrifying thought you ever hear of grow a friend grow a friend private toy company back in the 80s that went insanely left they tried to cover everything up basically they were manufacturing these innovative miniature foam composite figurines that would expand into life-size people when you would put them in water but there was basically a drastic malfunction in the material composition. Um, the chemical formula um, they used didn't only allow the foam to, to just absorb water, but also um, ambient electromagnetic energy, which caused uh, a symbiotic response in the foam and H20s relationship, allowing the figurine to take on lifelike characteristics as it grew. Naturally, families across the nation began freaking out as these figures came to life in their bathtubs. Some of them kind of dismantled the foam. Others kept them as these strange kind of house pets, but some of the figures like went rogue and just began menacing the streets, finding bigger bodies of water to keep growing. Ultimately, the toy line was discontinued and a special forces unit was deployed to track and neutralize the ones that still remained. You know where I can get one of these? I got a guy in Beijing. They're going for half a mil each. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is clearly a, a fictional story, right? It would fucking have to be. But, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> can you just imagine though? Like, what if we were so incredibly out of touch and just so indoctrinated and brainwashed through whether it be like the water or the food we eat or signals from 5G towers or whatever it is, right? Just like brain wipes us, right? What if we were, what if they had the ability to wipe our memory? so well that stuff like this actually did happen like what if every single one of these stories was true and at one point in recent years these giant foam toys have actually come to life through like some weird science-esque way of electricity being absorbed in the foam through the water in the tubs and actually brought these foam people to life and they went on a rampage and there was like the great war of 1936 the grow a friend wars or something oh man Honestly, that's the funnest part about doing these videos is like the what if scenario, right? Like for something that absurd to be true, like what would have to happen and and not only to allow the event to happen itself, but also to cover up the event and, and kind of erase it from history. Like that, that's honestly like the, the funnest part of these videos. Like a lot of them, I believe a lot of them I'm indifferent on a lot of them. I'm just like, there's no fucking way <laughs> I'm going to believe that. <laughs> Shout out Flat Earth. But I mean it would be incredible if this were to happen. This is my favorite one so far. Absolutely favorite. <laughs>